Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook, Serve, Delicious. My name is Bear. We got a pretty good menu going on right now. We got some upgrades as a result of the uh, catering and whatnot that we did from last time. Looking pretty solid, to be honest. I'm closing in on that third star as well. Really looking forward to that upgrade. But uh, for now, I think actually what I want to do is maybe take this bet here for $861. We need ourselves a 43 combo with nachos, fish, and pasta. And although the fish is on food rot, I think I still want to do this one. So we'll take off the burgers and the pizza here. Replace that with the aforementioned items. And then, uh, well, you know what? I think I'm going to have to take the fish off as well. Unfortunately, this does result in a huge, uh, huge degrade... Degradement? That's not a word. That's not a thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, badness. <laughs> Bad stuff happens when we do that, but, uh... This'll do, I think. This'll do just fine. In fact, I'm pretty sure I put the chicken on the daily special just for the uh, sake of it being a nice option. This looks pretty good, though. That'll do for our bet. Let's go. Let's do it, baby. I will see at the end of this day as well how close we, uh, how close we in fact are to that lovely, lovely third star. And the most important feature of that third star, of course, is the fact that it gets rid of the freaking cranes. <laughs> He's... Stupid ass birds, man! I don't like them! I don't like this feature! I was hoping it would just be part of the celebration of getting two stars, but no, they just stick the f around, don't they? Unbelievable. They'll be gone soon, though, and so will her apathetic face. That's number two on the list of things that must go in the, uh, Bears Beers Emporium. You call anything an emporium, man, that really sounds... So much more useful than any kind of other store name. Honestly, though, I can't remember the last time I saw a legitimate Emporium. No, wait, I do remember, actually. It was on the freeway. Years ago. I was four. The Emporium for... Red sauce, meatballs, chicken, bacon, peppers, mushrooms, spinach, and onions. Oddly specific, but, you know... That's how Emporiums are, I guess. No, honestly, I have no idea. Do, do they exist? What even is it? This is a valid question, is it not? What is the dictionary definition of an Emporium? Can you call anything an Emporium? Now Emporium doesn't sound like a real word. <laughs> that'll, that'll happen, I guess. Spinach is S. Okay, I'm glad I just... Want to make sure I was getting that one right. Send this one off. Boil the pasta, ground meat for here, and then we got some dishes to take care of. Nice, that was pretty quick there. Beautiful. Fish are gone. Gotta love fish, man. So simple. I've actually kind of turned on to, uh, or been turned on to... Fish in reality. Used to not be a big seafood guy, but... Breaded Costco tilapia has changed my ways. Which may not really count as genuine fish, but damn it, it... It made a big enough impact on me. Sorry, I have to count chicken breast hits. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be apologizing for that in my life, either. Uh, it made a big enough impact on me to, uh... To say it's changed my entire opinion on the variety of foodstuffs that it is. That is... That it is a member of. Carrots and cabbage, yummy, yummy, yummy. Berestovo soup, man. I think I've screwed that up too many times to, uh, to be a fan of it, but I like to lie at the same time. It's, it's a good balance of my personal preferences. Already made a, a substantial uh, amount of cash today. I'm really liking these expensive menu options. Of course, the nachos are getting us something like $4 a bowl, but other than that... Looking pretty good. Look at the fish giving us about 20 bucks, and then the chicken over here giving us the same amount. Not bad at all, man. Rainbow Grusa! We are 14 away from that wonderful $800 combo. If we can hit that, we'll be in really good shape. Really good shape moving forward. Not really sure what the big upgrade, or what big upgrade I want to get next. I'm thinking maybe we go for the, for the straight wine. Wine straight up, that's how I feel. Because getting the hundred dollar wine orders, that means something, man. That makes a big difference. It doesn't happen all that frequently. 
But when it does, hot diggity damn. Sometimes you get like those $12 tips on top of the $100 wine order too, although I suppose when you're uh, buying a $100 bottle of wine, money isn't really an object, is it? What does that even mean? Money is no object. Of course money is an object. What the hell else is it? An idea? An expression? A plasma? Money is a plasma. That's what that phrase should be. Everybody would be really freaking confused, man. If the goal is to confuse folks, I've got plenty of ideas. You just call me up. We will take care of that. Alright, nearly just screwed up that last one there. I'm really glad I didn't. Because we are very close to this, uh... Ultimate goal, white sauce, MKBU, nice. Another pasta, we'll boil that up, and then one last order here, and we will be good to go. I think we got it. Very nice! There it is! There's the combo we needed. Now it's all about that perfect day. Which I still think we can do. I still think we're more than capable of getting that accomplishment taken care of. Let's see if we can make it happen. Getting through this second rush hour. Another bowl of nachos here. I'm definitely going to take those off the menu as soon as we're done with this stupid challenge. Not only does that detract from our buzz, but that is just not even worth the time investment, man. Not even worth the looks I get from people as I'm serving nachos alongside soup, steak, and salad. Well, no salad today, I guess, but, you know, generally. Generally, that's available. And people don't worry about generalities here at Bears Beers, man. That's just not our thing. It's not our forte. Not our will or Matt Forte. I'm honestly not sure. Oh my god, I totally forgot about her. Oh no! Oh shit! I think you need to leave. Uh oh. I totally forgot she was coming today. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe we should break up. Dunno, see you later. Bye. Wow. I feel like I got everything right there still, but I totally forgot she was going to come to- Oh man, I'm the worst. I bet everybody's been yelling at me through the whole day. Through the whole day thus far. Bear! You forgot about what's her name? We did too, but you, you did, and that's what's most important. But you know what's even more important than that? I'll tell you. As soon as it happens. A perfect freaking day. Hell yeah! Nice! That automatically helps me get over the loss of... What? She, they, they don't even know what her name is. She said your partner. It's like calling somebody sport. Oh well. Lost out on it. Perfect day bonus though, 250 bucks, and we got ourselves our cook bet results as well for 861. Everyone is so happy except me because I'm alone. We got a weather alert though. We'll have a weather boost later on today. Some menu rot. Safety inspection is due today. Today was the day I tackled the Coco Papa's Dusted Toppers. $6.99 at the Savin' Mart. This premium snack oozed delicious into my mouth. Gross. With its wonderful chocolate dust mixing with the great crumbly chocolate chunks. I almost fainted from the awesome. 10 out of 10. 8 out of 8. Alright. Steak upgrades available again. I actually might be able to afford that straight up. Not quite. Bumps up to $30 though, and the wine is for $40 as well. My goodness, that is totally tempting. Pasta, not quite as much. Salad I might get. I'm probably just going to save the money for these upgrades though. Let's go ahead and take off all these terrible food rot items. Probably going to throw the burgers back on here actually. That's worth quite a bit. And then the salad might actually be worthwhile for the boost to the buzz as well. And then pro the... Uh, We'll pro them. We'll throw the chicken breast back on here too. Get the wine available. And they'll probably do it. Actually, you know what? I'm replacing pasta with lasagna. This sounds about right. Sounds about right. Nah, just kidding. Beer. Beer time! Woo! <laughs> this will be good. Closing in on that third star, man. I saw we were about five days away, so that's fantastic. Let's see what the bet is for today. Not even close to being able to get this one, unfortunately. We have a lot of silver tickets, so we should definitely look into using those whenever we can. But for now, not gonna happen. Do I have lobster? Maybe I should buy lobster. That's not a terrible idea. How much is this? Ah, oh, we can't afford it. Lobster's pretty good too. Really easy to make, and it always, uh, 
brings in a decent amount of cash. Ah, oh well. 50% buzz for today. We'll definitely have enough to upgrade either the steak or the wine right after this. Right after this. Bah! Wow, that was really difficult to pop open. It's a nice quick start to our, uh... Our funding endeavors for this here Cook Serve Delicious evening. Starting out in the morning, of course, with rich chicken breast. Nice, solid six strokes of the hammer. The hammer of truth and justice. Have a beer, safety inspector. You need to be drunk on this job. I know that for a fact. I'm not saying that I myself only operate intoxicated. Certainly that would be worth a violation tick off on the checkbox list of fate, right? Ha <laughs> No, that doesn't happen. Bonga hype! Never in my life, I promise your cute little button nose. It's not gonna happen. She always looks so sad, though. Extra veggies, that is a disgusting burger. That's not even a burger, man. That's an abomination. You keep moving, buddy, yeah. Get on along with you. So the weather guy... Uh, the weather guy... The weather ought to be, um... Giving us a bit of a buzz boost here, although I'm not sure how significant it's truly going to be. I suppose we'll find out pretty shortly. All kinds of greens today, though, man. Just... Just a bunch of healthy folks tonight. There we go, that's more like it. The heart stopper. We had to get somebody in here to be sad. Just like that face was after I apparently messed up that order. No idea how I did, but oh well. Meat patty on this one, cheese, greens, and carrots, and some more dishes here too. Let's see if I can get ourselves an expensive wine sold. Nope! Furthest thing from it. That's like a $5 wine, isn't it? Yep. Well, close to it. Toss out the trash. Alright, $12 tip. That'll make me feel a little bit better about myself. No more perfect day, unfortunately, due to the uh, early screw up there, but I'm still satisfied with how we're going along this far. Nice rush hour. Not bad at all. Nice quick one there. Meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, and Swiss. That's a good looking burger right there. That's how you make it, man. You teach that last dude a thing or two about burger construction. Burger integrity. Bonga integrity, more like. Got it. Somebody was trying to tell me the other day, we were on Rob's stream, right? And they were trying to tell me that you're not allowed to microwave a sandwich. Now let me explain it before you get all uppity about that, uh, that exact phrasing. I know that, that in particular sounds a little off, a little, a little skewed, but... Hear me out. So let me, let me tell you about the sandwich that I constructed the other day as we were discussing this. I took two beautiful slices of whole wheat bread, right? I take those puppies, I put them in the toaster oven. Not the toaster oven, mind you, but the toaster. I made a mistake there in my explanation. I'll, con I'll correct it and we'll come back. Put these two big old slices of bread in the toaster. Cook them nice and... nice and crisp. I don't mean, I don't mean burnt, I mean the... the kind of crisp that gives you that nice crunch for the toast you're looking for. You got those two toasted slices of whole wheat bread, right? And then you put a bit of turkey on those. About three slices, maybe four if you're feeling crazy. Bomga hype a little bit on the side there, of course. Three to four slices of turkey. You take two provolone cheese slices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seasoning, and then you put them on the other slice. And you take some lettuce, usually reserved for bunnies, but you know, you eat some yourself because you feel weird sometimes. You put that on there as well. Take that whole thing, piece them together, and you throw that in the microwave for exactly, exactly. 24 seconds, and not a bit more. You get that out of there, you put some mayonnaise, maybe Miracle Whip. I'll, I'll allow you the preference. And that's a delicious sandwich right there, my friend. And some people think that's an abomination. I'll, I will fight that to the death, man. That's a good sandwich, and it was delicious. It was delicious, I'll have you know, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Some tomato on it would have been better. I actually initially had plans to slice up some, some uh, tomatoes. Which, of course, you put on after the microwaving. You don't want to microwave tomatoes. That would just be weird. I had those nice and cold, man. Although, uh, now that I think about it, microwaving the lettuce might have been kind of weird, too. I probably should have thrown that on after the fact. Oh, I don't know. I think I might have actually been onto something there, too. Microwaving the lettuce, it sounds weird, but that might have given it a little bit of a... Uh, a texture alteration that could have gone along with the spirit of the sandwich as a whole. 
Maybe I unintentionally crafted the perfect sandwich as a result. That could have happened. That totally could have happened. I believe it. I think you do too. Yeah, I'm not gonna hear any arguments about the bread integrity anymore, man. I believe in my own instincts. I trust my judgment on sandwich construction, and I think you should too. We all know what we like, man, but if you don't like what I like, then you're a sinner. You're gonna go to sandwich hell. And sandwich Satan's gonna make you a creme brulee, and you're gonna be confused. Cause his name is Sandwich Satan, that doesn't even make any goddamn sense. And that's why you got to Sandwich Hell in the first place, because you kept using the Sandwich God's name in vain. You see, it all comes full circle. Learned something today, I think. And apparently this cheese has maggots in it, and that's disgusting as shit, man. I don't want no maggot cheese. Who's eating maggot cheese? Raise your hand, I want to see him. Be honest. Nobody? Good. Alright. Glad we cleared that out. Safety inspection today is going to be thoroughly worthwhile. We're going to get ourselves a nice buzz boost for the next day as well. Kazumarzu aged cheese wine, making a decent amount of cash here. Not too much, but I'm satisfied with it. Probably made about a thousand bucks. That'll do the job. No perfect day. I think we only screwed up one order today, unfortunately. We didn't really get that many. Probably about 60, 65 orders total. Not fantastic. 68. Yeah. All right. About 1100 bucks total. We are four days away from 20 days of service in a three-star restaurant. That was the last safety inspection we required as well. Hello, click and start. Okay. What's up? My name's Pepper. I want to build a better toilet. But not just any toilet. I want this to be made of highly durable aluminum. Better flow gauges and pumps, all of which will allow for less flushes needed per day. I think restaurants deserve a better toilet. And I want to build it. I just need the initial funds to create some assembly lines, and I'll start shipping right away. For $500, we have a 30% chance of successfully funding this endeavor. Or $2,000 will guarantee its success. You know what? I'm going to take... I'm gonna take a gamble on here, because I very much want to keep the money to invest in the steak upgrade. Unfortunately, for Click and Start. So there's that. Inspection is passed. 10% buzz boost today. We do have menu rot occurring as well. Listen as Jonathan shows you how to compose a great track in no time. From jazzy beats to epic music. Find out why a timpani is overkill without a tambourine that will do just fine and you misread sentences. Nice. It's our bet today. Pasta, wine, and pizza. I could actually do that. I could definitely do that. Hmm. First of all, I want to decide between the wine and steak upgrades here as well. If I'm going to have wine on the menu, I suppose I might as well upgrade that, right? There we go. 40 bucks for a bottle of wine. Not bad. Hmm. You know what? I am going to take that bet. Pasta, pizza, and wine. Let's do it. And we gotta take out the chicken. Replace this daily special item. Probably gonna take some... Yeah, we'll take the beer off. And salad, too. Get the fish on there. Pasta. And pizza. Be our daily special. That'll do. It's looking pretty solid. Alright, y'all. We got a good thing going for next time here in Cook, Serve, Delicious. Hope you're enjoying it. Leave a, or blah, leave a like <laughs> if you're enjoying the series. Thus far. Appreciate that support a lot. Thanks for watching. My name's Bear. I'll see you next time.